All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house and welcome back to the channel. Look at this, uh, what I'm bringing to you guys, something you don't see very often. This is the Framelock um, limited edition from Magpul and uh, this is a very, very interesting one. So I'm gonna check it out. So it comes in a nice box. Of course, you get some uh, hard uh, plastic case. Magbolt, by the way, is a firearm accessory company. Uh, and uh, look at this, uh, that's a pretty cool magnetic case. Uh, you get uh, some instruction going on, you get your knife and a soft, nicely padded case. I really like when a maker uh, gets a little bit um, more, you know, involved into the packaging. I appreciate that. So. What do we have here, guys? Look at this. That's a that's an interesting one. Let's check out the size first, because you get 19 centimeters. Yeah, I feel kind of European today. And you get eight centimeters for the blade, and you get 11 and a half for the handle. Would you look at that? How would this compare up against a Sebenza large in this case? And a Nandi. Look at this. Right in between these two options from Chris Reeve knives. Uh, I want to show you another couple for the knife comparison size because I've got some fancy stuff that I, you know, I would like to share with you. Spectre, haptic, right over here. I'm gonna show you another couple. Shiro, because you know I like Shiro, right? So F3B Neon NL in the house, and just another couple Canadians fella because I feel fancy today. And look at that, Peter Rassenti, Nirvana, and Kirby Lambert. Augustus, just to complete the pictures and to give you an idea of what's available if you are crazy to spend uh, thousands of dollars in knives. But here we are. This thing is around $400. Um, it is a titanium frame lock. It has a micarta uh, show side scale. And it's a very interesting one. It has some pretty uh, unique features and uh, quirks. Um, it has um, a pretty straightforward design. I mean, two straight lines, uh, kind of like uh, tapering down this way and kind of like symmetrically going on the other side. Um, you have uh, a pretty clean look when closed. I like uh, the blade, you know, following the contour, the, the, the edges of the handle. That's a nice uh, design uh, choice. Um, the uh, show side has a micarta scale uh, with uh, um, some liner on the inside right there. There is a logo as well. Um, interesting. So you have a little bit of chamfer, as you can see right over here. You have a little bit of internal chamfering, not too much. There is no internal skeletonization on the uh, micarta. You have a little bit actually going on right over here on the uh, lock side, right there. Um, it's interesting um, also to notice how in these scales you have a stainless steel lock face insert screwed in from the inside, blind screw. That's very, very cool. Uh, probably my favorite configuration for uh, the uh, insert to reduce lock stick, of course. Um, then you have a nice uh, finger groove right over here. Allocates your index for sure. You take advantage of the jimping right there. Um, you don't have, um, um, I mean, you kind of have, that's kind of like a the lanyard hole option, and this is going to act as a backspacer, very, very short, uh, but still, you can use this as a, as a lanyard loop hole, uh, because look at that, look at the construction. So this screw right over here, it just goes through the spacer and catches the clip on the other side. Therefore, this clip is going to be reversible. Look at that. You can reverse the clip on the other side and you're going to be a happy camper. So ambidextrous uh, uh, pocket clip and uh, this much knife, you see, it's going to stick out from your pocket. The clip is a little bit stiff, but works uh, quite well. It's not too bad. Basically, this is a 2D milled knife. There's no 3D milling going on, just like a chamfer in the scales. And... Uh, it looks, uh, it looks uh, neat because it's clean and, uh, uh, and minimal. So that's what I like uh, about the design. Um, the, the, the backspacer is making sure that you cannot even think about touching the tip of the blade. Look at that. It's getting right there. But that means that this much stuff is going to be used to... You see, look at that. Um, there you go. Right away. 
handle to blade ratio guys this chunk is taken away from the handle to blade ratio i mean you're gonna have a nice handle to hold on to it but still the handle to blade ratio is gonna suffer a little bit because of that gap but still the blade is uh, the tip of the blade is super safe right there um you have this pretty cool blade, which is in S35, uh, VN steel, US made, USA made, uh, stone wash finish, has a kind of like a uh, candy grind kind of thing going on. Uh, it has um, a nice jimping serial number, in, like laser engraved on the spine. Uh, you get this uh, kind of like ship's foot uh, action going on over here. A slightly chamfered, kind of crowned almost on the spine, which I appreciate. And then a very, very gentle belly up to the sharpening chawl. You have a flat grind, very low grind. That's going to mean a little bit of... Uh, Again, I'm European today, 0.65 millimeters and 4 and 11 millimeters for the blade uh, stock. So it's not like a super slicer. It's, uh, I mean, you can do some hard stuff. You can pierce for sure. You have a pointy um, uh, flipper tab. It's not going to be suitable for the uh, push button. You're going to hurt yourself. So just, you see, check the jimping and just stick with the light switch button and you're going to be a happy camper. Really, really cool. Um, you have... Uh, uh, um, uh, nice plunge grind, you see, like oblique. I really love that. Uh, not really a sharpening choil, but for sure. Um, not, not a finger uh, choil, sorry, but definitely a sharpening choil right there. The only billboarding is going to be going on on this side. Also, uh, this knife has a very interesting feature, which is uh, over travel lock bar stabilizer integrated in the pivot collar on the lock side. Look at this. This doesn't do anything because the knife is not deployed. You deploy the knife and boom, you lock in place uh, the lock bar. So, Kind of acts, I wouldn't say a fixed blade, but still, you have an extra secure option for the uh, accidental disengagement of the log bar. Would you look at that? That's a pretty neat solution. Very simple, very clever, and works uh, pretty well. Uh, the sound is a nice deep cluck and a tinking sound when you close it. Nothing special, nothing woohoo. But still, it's pretty decent. Uh, let me check the weight on this bad boy. It's not too much. There's a little bit of um, weight. Its stock thickness is insane. And today, I'm going to give you the weight in grams. Look at that. 116 grams, 0.1. You can convert uh, in uh, ounces, and that's going to be an easy one. 4.09 ounces for you uh, using the Imperial system, guys. Here is a very interesting one. So... Weight is there. I mean, four ounces. Um, not really feeling any hot spots in the hand. When you when you squeeze it, the handle is pretty good. Um, pretty easy to disengage the lock bar, especially in this position. You see, like that, and boom, this is done. So that's pretty good. Uh, even like this, yeah, you can access the lock bar. You have this chamfered area, so no uh, issues whatsoever there. Uh, the jimping is functional on the uh, spine. I really appreciate that. Uh, you can do like a nice reverse grip in this way. There's a uh, Pretty, I mean, it, there's a little bit of flex, as you can see right over here. It doesn't really feel super solid, but still, it's it's okay. A uh, little bit slippery on the uh, surface of the micarta right over there, but I don't see any gaps, misalignments. It is pretty flush. It's well put together, guys. Uh, it's a, it's not a bad one. There's no rattling when closed. There's no blade play. Feels solid. There's no lock stick, no lock rock. The blade feels pretty centered to me, so it's well put together. Let's say that. The action also is very good. Look at this. It's a nice uh, gliding shot. You just it needs just a little nudge to get uh, in the blade in the closed position, and uh, it just fires open like yeah, nicely. You see? Look at this. That's a nice glide shutting. Uh, that's not drop shot, of course. Just a little nudge, and you're gonna be happy. So, I mean, guys, this is a pretty cool and interesting uh, um, knife. I like this uh, this little one. Um, there's, it's not perfect. I mean, uh, I'm not a fan of my carta, as you might know. Um, the grind is not perfect. It's a little bit too low, but I like the. I love the, actually the plunge grind. I love this uh, solution right over here. The design is cool. It's not for everyone. It's um, it's a nice one, made in US. So 
check it out if you like it. There you have it. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Stay tuned.